what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clear on the crowd I don't think I mention When they call me when it's beneficial You don't check up on me, I was go What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani And you're tapped into another talk of the town interview And who do we got in the building today? Shetty B, man, set the trend, man, the only one We got set the trend in the building And I'm not gonna lie, I'm the first time that I met you was at K Flock show in Jersey. Yeah, I remember. And I wasn't really put on yet. I'm not gonna front. I wasn't. But after that, I saw everybody was like, Yeah, that's set the trend, that's set the trend. So I tapped in and you really lit and you're doing your thing. So shout out to you. Keep it humble. Um so first off, you have Get Home. That's at one million right now. That's super lit. God, man. That's God. We, you said that's God? Yeah. That's a fact. We're going to get into that. And then you just dropped a video today. Don't give a fuck. Last time I checked, that was at like 25K already. I think it's like at 32 now. Now it's at 32, you see? So it's really going <laughs> up. No, that's really crazy. Were you expecting that? Nah. No? Nah, nah. Okay, so like I said, we're going to get into that. But I just wanted to shout you out real quick for that because that's, that's really fire. So for the people that don't know, where are you from? From the Bronx. Okay, what part of the Bronx? The 6, 7, feel me the Ray. I mean, from a lot of places. Okay, I'm like, hmm. Okay, so walk us through, like, what that was like growing up in the Bronx. You said a lot of places, so were you moving around? I wasn't moving. I was living in a crib for the whole time, like, 19 years. Say that. Mm -hmm. So I moved for me. But, feel me? Well, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard. Yeah, it was hard? Yeah. So would you say, like, the way that you grew up, kind of impacts who you are now basically yeah how I mean, so i go through a lot of shit on a daily basis that i don't really get into so okay so do you feel like that in turn goes into your music too yeah yeah that's why i put all my efforts into my music okay so would you say that's like your escape like your coping mechanism i love making music that's, that's what, what is it about music like outside of being able to escape that you like everything bro i like the beats mm-hmm Everything, just making music and just having fans that really love your music. Like, mm -hmm. It just makes you want to go more. Okay, I feel that. So at what point did you decide to, like, get into music? When was that? i say when I was, like, two years ago now. Yeah, like, two years ago. Okay, and what was it that made you want to start? <laughs> My manager, Blood Diamond, I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't really taking it serious. Mm -hmm. But he was like, you rapping other people's stuff? I could are you gonna just go rap your own stuff? That's a fact. So I was like, I took so, the thought. so how was it like making your first track? Because at first I said that's a fact when you said that he said that, but at the same time, just because you can spit somebody else's shit, don't necessarily mean that you can rap. So what was it like the first time that you got in the booth when you were actually making music? I want to say I was nervous because I was around family, but shout out Jay Paddock because I made my first song with Jay Paddock. It was called Late Night Text. It wasn't even a. The rap song, nothing. It was straight singing. So I was, mm. I don't know. I was just trying stuff. Okay. I wasn't scared. I just, like, went in there confident. Okay. So, wait, is that out? That's still out? Okay, I was about we to say. I don't think out. I... Okay, why not? I don't know. We, we ended up dropping... We made um, Rayway Anthem. Mm hmm It's on J. Patty Page still, but... Uh, I mean, we don't jack that. It's like some... Play around track like some. That's that was my first track. So uh huh. I mean. So then if so if you first started making music on like some melodic singing <laughs> stuff, why did you then decide to start making drum music? Like what made that change? Basically, like I feel like I don't know the things I was going through. So the things I was going through. Is it don't get too much in that. But okay, we don't got to get too much into it. But is it the things you were going through or the people that you were around? Because I feel like you could still put your pain on a melodic type of track without, you know, all the... I be mean, probably, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. I was mm -hmm. scared to sing. I was scared to sing. I never wanted to show my voice. Like, I feel like niggas would have laughed at me. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So do you still feel that way? No. Okay. 
So can we expect some singing, melodic Ooh, songs coming? Because I heard when you were um, when you were in the car with Booba and Naughty, I heard a little unreleased. It sounded like it was some melodic stuff happening in there. Yeah, I got it. And it sounded good. good so now that you're saying that you could sing, I'm like, come on. Why haven't we already heard that? I mean, it's not that toppy. I don't feel like Russia stuff. Okay. So I think it's interesting, too, that you said that you felt like people would laugh at you if you came out with that. Like, how often do you feel like artists, like, limit what they're capable of doing because they kind of, like, want to impress other people or they're scared of, like, what other people think? I don't know. Basically, if you, like, if you feel like you could do it, just do it. Just put your all into it. That's why I be thinking, like, I, mm -hmm. I used to neglect myself. I used to down myself. All types of shit. So it's like, now I just... Think better, positive. Even if I'm going through something, I still look at the positive side of it. So what changed for you? Like, what was it that made you start thinking that way? Family, friends, you know, talks. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff. So would you say, like, your family and friends motivate you? Of course. Okay, that's dope, that's dope. So if it weren't for music, what would you be doing? I don't think I could say that. Because I don't know. Really. Okay. I wouldn't see myself doing nothing else. So before, because, I mean, you just started making music two years ago. So before two years ago, what were you doing? You was just outside. I was just a lower soul. A lower soul? Lower soul. So music helped you find yourself. I like that. So, I mean, I think it's interesting, too, because to feel like you lost yourself and it's a like find yourself in a genre that's so like mixy and it's like everybody coming for everybody dissing like your dad means and smoking on this and that like you don't feel like that kind of like clashes with each other no i mean that's how it's gonna be like it's, it's you can't stop that it's been going on for years Mhm. Mm okay so speaking of dissing and stuff like that i think it's very interesting that I heard you and Lee Drilly are like cousins or related or something, right? Yeah. So how does this work in the Bronx? What do y'all have going on in the Bronx? Where <laughs> it's like y'all family, but then at the same time y'all ops. Family, like what like, is that? I'm gonna tell you, son, real right here. Like family. Okay. You can meet somebody like. I say, for instance, you meet a nigga like two, three weeks ago, he'll be realer than some of your family members, and you can't stop that. That's just how life is. Like, mm -hmm. feel me? So, but like, what would you like? Without getting too much into it, at what point was it that y'all were no longer like cool? Cause y'all still related, right? Yeah. But like, at what point did y'all go y'all separate ways? You basically moved, like. Shout out Ero. You should take him to school. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of shit we don't get into, but okay. Another thing we won't get into. That's okay. <laughs> so, so you say you can meet somebody um, relatively quickly, and they could do more of the norm that take two more for you than your family. Who would you consider to be like your family right now? Yeah, people you see around me. I ain't gotta say too much. You never want to say too much, but you be talking a whole lot of shit. I'm so confused. <laughs> you don't want to say, but it's okay. I'm going to let you rock. I'm going to let you rock. So as you started coming up, you started, like, getting money and getting recognition. How was, like, the reaction of, like, your family as you started, like, trending? Like, I used to tell my mom. <laughs> I was going to do it. She used to, oh, nah, I know you're not. Till she see that happen, so it's like, now nah, she, oh, you in the studio? Like, yeah. so I don't know, she, she, she loose on me now. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, she, she, you know how you, like, a parent will be on your trail? Like, yeah. She don't be on my trail. Anymore. But would you say that she's, like, supportive? Yeah, she's supportive. Okay, that's good. So, what was, like, your first big purchase when you got, when you got money? What was the first thing you bought? First big thing you bought? A car. You bought a car? What kind of car you bought? Like I said, I can't say. Oh that. my gosh, that <laughs> you're old You can't say too much. Well, I'm gonna let you know. Do I you can't have let them know what I'm riding in? Okay, you can't let them know. All right, fine. Do you have your license though? I got a permit. 
You got a yo. I that blows my mind every time I hear, it. and that's why I ask like niggas really be buying cars with no license. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. I'm not even going. I'm not going. Okay. I'm going to let you rock with that one. All right. So <laughs> you said, oh, you made a post or like we posted something. You was like rap money. What changed niggas more like rap money or you eat money? Oh, and I didn't make the post. I you just reposted stole it, from, it. Yeah, I reposted it from C Blue. So what, what do you think the answer to that is? What do you think changed niggas more the rap money or the you eat money? So you, I don't know. They was both acting bad. People was both acting bad. So it's like. So when you say, well, when the post say, because you reposted it, so I could technically I mean, well, say you. Well, go ahead. I mean, rap, um, rap. Rap money. Yeah. So how would you say like it changed niggas? Like how were they acting different? Not not acting different. Like in it that just way. changed them. Like it just changed their life. Like. In a good way, or bad way. Good way, like it changed. Oh, a good life. way. Yeah. Oh, you see, when I read that, damn. See, I, everybody I, be thinking negative. Why? Yeah, I definitely wasn't thinking anything positive. I'm thinking, like, yeah, these niggas start getting money. Now they start acting different. That's what I'm thinking the post. Okay. Nah, you're not like that. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, at what point did you actually, like, start to see that you really had a chance at, like, making it um, with music? I say, Free My Son K. Flock, when he opened the doors, like, there's nothing more I can say for that either, cause <laughs> you know what he did. Like you know what he did. I can't. You know what he did. I can't. I don't gotta uh -huh. even say it. All right. Well, we know what he did, but for the people that don't, let's say somebody's watching this and they just now tuning in. What is it that he did? Kick them doors down, man. You see, you see how everybody live. That's all I'm gonna say. Everybody lit on this side. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And how is it, like, actually experiencing that where, like, everybody that you're around is, like, coming up at the same time? It's a blessing, like. Yeah? Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I love that shit. Are there any downsides to that, though? Because there are so many of y'all. Do you feel like? No, nah, I don't feel like it's a downside because everybody should have, like, a certain, a certain thing going on, like, in their life. Like, they own lane. You feel what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So if you had to, like, describe, let's say three things that sets you apart from everybody else, what would they be? It's a lot of things, but three. Um, three. I ain't gonna lie, I don't talk too much. That's Yo. One. Oh, that was your first, okay, because I was about to go one. off, That's like, you're not about one. to do this. Okay, go one. ahead. You don't talk one. too much. I'm, you know, I'm a different person, you know, like, people think I'm just this type of person or that type of person, but when you get to know me, you know, I'm the type of cool person, you know? Mm -hmm. Third, I ain't gonna lie, nobody fuck with me. I could do it all. And it's rap shit, everything. Nobody fuck with me. You mean like versatility? Versatility, that's mm -hmm. it. That's the key. Okay. So you said um, that people think you this way, that way. Like, what would you say is like one of the most common like misconceptions about you? It's like, I don't know. Like, they feel like I gotta prove something to, you feel me? Like, I got to prove I do this or do that. I don't That's how do people that. feel about you? Yeah. Why? Because of everybody else that you around? Like, no, why? I guess. I don't know. That's just. Huh. Okay. Okay. So, if you had to describe now your sound, how would you describe it? As in, like, what? Like what? How would you describe your sound? Like, if you were explaining your music to somebody who didn't have access to, like, YouTube or a phone or any type of electronics, how would you describe it? I want it to, like, the way, I, the way I'm going with it is, like, I want my music, like, you could listen to it any time. Like, if you mad, I got a song for you and you mad. I got a song for you and you sad. I got mm -hmm. a song for you heartbroken. I mm -hmm. got a song for you you want to cheat. I got a song for everything. That's okay. What, that's what I'm going with. Like. Can I ask you real quick? Can you just spit one of your bars? It could be a random one. Can you just spit one of your bars? Just anyone that comes to mind right now. That can right now. Anyone that comes to mind, like literally anyone that comes to mind, it don't gotta be nothing too crazy. <laughs> Just one. Hello, sit him. Hello, sit him. He's singing like Trey songs. Okay. So the reason why I actually do that is because in your music, you be like, <gasps> like it's a deep type of. Oh, a deep to, type of voice. You want me to do it in my voice? So I was just wondering, like, at what part does that set in? Like, is that something that you decided, like, when you started making music that you was going to put that on? Is that I, something that, like... I, 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 just went, I just ran with it, like, when I, when I first made Whispers, like I said, Free K-Flop, I first made Whispers, like, I started going with it, like, 
one of the money signing me from it. Like, oh, there you go. Like, mm-hmm. It's it's not, I mean, it sounds it sound good. I just wanted to see if you if you was going to. Well, if I was going to do the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so the name set the trend. I know you changed your name because that wasn't always your name, right? But, yeah, no. Nah, it wasn't, yeah. It wasn't, but it was. It wasn't, but it was. I don't know if you want to say what your name used to be because I know. What, Jerry? Oh, that's what it was? What? No, my I, name was like YB or something. Yeah, that's what I that's yeah. what I thought. Okay, so what made you change your name to set the trend? It's already a YB, so I had to set the trend. Okay, so set the trend. Of course, I have to ask you, what trends have you been setting? A lot. A whole lot. <laughs> a whole you lot? Like, see. what? Stop being so vague. For real, though. You can see, like, I opened a whole lane for a new drill scene if you get what i'm going with like okay i'm trying to really make drill genre drill what a genre because drill, drill a, genre. a genre so you, it's a sub genre you don't think so so what do you think it is it's just drill really so you don't think like drill is a sub genre of like rap no interesting so what do you think it's going to take for it to become its own genre so I step in the doors. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I I don't really know what that means, but okay. So we're gonna play a little game, Mister Set the Trend, and I want you to tell me who you think set these trends that I'm about to say. Okay. All right. Getting sturdy. <laughs> Getting sturdy. That's us. Who's us? Us, us. That's that's everybody. That's like yeah. Who's that? That's, yeah, the Bronx. The Bronx. Thirty get it thirty. Yeah, that's us. We the geeks. Like you can see, you can see what's going on. I ain't gonna say too much. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Okay. Come on. Um, but like, do, what artists do you think started it? If you could, if you could think about one, like who, like really set it off. Who would you say? I ain't gonna lie. Shout out Dougie B. Okay. Thanks, sir. Keep. Okay. Me. That's fair. Okay. Um, New York drill music. New York drill music. New York in general. Like in general. In general. In general. Who set that trend? I can't say myself. No, you cannot say yourself because you don't do it. <laughs> That's my name, no, but I um oh. let me see. I ain't gonna lie. I say more than one name. I say I listen to Chef Sleepy. You feel me? Shit like that. Um, I listen to old people. Not old people. But old has. Yeah, but that's not what I asked you. I said who set the trend? Who set the trend? Not who you listen to. Oh, mm. you said. Oh yeah, you right. Mm. You right. You right. You right. You right. Damn. Ah, uh-uh, don't be, don't be cheating. Don't be cheating. I see y'all. <laughs> I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that, bro. Gangsta. Words to my mother. I was gonna say that. Okay. But it's like, it's like they talking about in general. Like, for the, for I mean, it's your answer. Tell- so if that's the, if that's for, he. K. For me, he opened the, opened the doors like. K opened the doors, but you did name two door. other drugs. I'll say. I'll say. I don't know, cause I I don't know. I exclude the Bronx from me. <laughs> We like our own island. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Simple, Joe. Oh, man. I can't say me. No, you can't say you. And I'm really expecting for you to I, say. I, SB. Really? Or, or Cash, because he made the beats. Okay, because I was about to say that. Of course, that's Cash. crazy. Shout out Cash. Okay, shout out Cash. Um, All right, face to the Bronx. K. I ain't the fish. Okay. Now, the deep Batman-like voice that we was just talking about. <laughs> That's it. I don't got to say that. Yeah. I don't even go, I'm not even going to say nothing. I'm not even going to fight. I was like, where is he going? That was bad funny. That. Okay, so you stamping that. I'm stamping that. That's me. That's all the way me. So how do you feel? Because, I mean, you're not the only one doing it. So if you set that trend, how you feel about the other niggas? I that's feel good. 
I feel great. <laughs> There's nothing I can say. You know, trying to copy my way. I mean, try to bite that. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Try to bite the next one. Move on to the next one. Cause you really set them trends, right? Feel me? Okay. Glad, glad, boom. <laughs> Who said that? Who started that? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ouch, yo. To be honest, I don't, I don't even know who started that shit. You don't know who started that? I don't know. Who I'm not even gonna lie. To <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Damn. I don't know. I don't know who started that shit. I'm going to keep it stacked. So y'all just be like, what I'm gathering so far is that stuff just be happening and y'all be like, yo, that shit sound late. Oh, I'm going to do this. But y'all don't be know where it comes from. Now, I ain't going to lie. Shout out Warren Bills. Gangster. Huh. Okay. Um, Speaking on the day, who started that? <laughs> I don't even know. I, I that That's what I can't answer for you. I don't know for real. I don't know how that shit started or what it came about or why. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. That's you it. you don't know who started Wait, that? I ain't gonna lie. Oh, you talk about in general? Yeah. Oh. I say I ain't gonna lie what for my generation. Chicago. Uh -huh. Chicago? Ch Chicago. Chicago rappers. Okay. Do you feel like New York drill is like a variation of Chicago drill? No. No? We our own. Okay, so if you your own, then I don't want to hear about Chicago. Who in New York started it? <laughs> oh, man. Because you tried to get away from me. I, I, I don't know. And it, I, 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 can say, <laughs> I can say anywhere in New York, right? What you about to say? Some upstate I can't even say that. Like, right, what? Right. What you was about to say? No, nah, nothing. Nothing. That shit. I don't know who started that shit. All right, all right. <laughs> so to end this off, I want you to tell me what's three things that's trending right now that you wish weren't trending. <laughs> right, like you, you can't do this. Come on. <laughs> nah, because that question is crazy. <laughs> it's a lot of shit I want to say, but like what? Just three. Just three. Just three. Nah, you trying to come on. Trying what to, I'm trying to do? You trying to make me a new, like, new highlight. Nah, I can't do that. He think we try to get content. Bro, your name is set the train. So, of course, I'm going to ask you. Three things that I don't think that's trending. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, the voices. Oh, Please stop the voices. Stop it. Y'all know y'all, that's not it. That's not y'all. I started that. So that's one. All right. Oh, go ahead. Two. Stop trending. I got hit by a bus. I didn't. I was dead going to ask you about that. Stop you right there. I didn't. <laughs> and I'm not getting into that again. Oh. I'm I, I seen it on, I can see it on PBS films. I said, I said what I said a little bit, but I'm not. I'm not talking about that no more. It's, it's behind me. All right. Go ahead. What's the third one? The third one. Oh, my God. People just, like, stop thinking you're the face of the Bronx or you <laughs> just, you, you're not. Stop. Stay in your lane. Feel me? Mm, so people jacking you the face of the Bronx and they really not it. Huh. I wonder who you're talking about. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So moving along. So, you know, you just uh, had a video drop with Booba and Nadi. That seemed like y'all, y'all seem to have fun together. Like, it seemed like y'all really a vibe. <laughs> now, I have to ask you, like, do you know what they're going to talk about before the video starts? Like, do they have to run certain topics by you before they, before they say them? Certain shit. Yeah? Because I'm, like, watching, and I wonder, like, how much is too much? Like, would there ever be a time that you're in one of these YouTube videos and they just say something that's super out of pocket? Because I'm not going to lie. It was some shit they said, and I was like, mm. So, like. And I know what you're talking about, sure. Yeah. So, like, how, how do you handle that? Like, okay. So, I have two questions. The first is, how do you handle that? Because I feel like even if it's a joke, that's still, I feel like that's still a fucked up. I'm going to give you the simplest answer right here. It's a lot of shit that you don't handle on camera. 
Okay. Heard you. And then following that, like, at what point is, like, too much? Because I feel like... I mean... I mean... Well, you watch Google videos, right? Yeah. But it don't, like... But that's why I'm wondering, like, is it that you already know what they're going to say? Because I feel like knowing, like, how you move, like, how you act, and then hearing the shit that they say is, like... I don't know. It it's just don't seem so like that's something else. I don't know. It's more so it's like, like we, I ain't gonna lie, we don't know. It's not, it's not playing. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Like, oh, you don't know beforehand? Nah, I tell them like we talk, like can we chop it up? But I don't. We don't know what like. Uh. We just go off topic, like mm. off the head. Okay, okay. Um. So they was listening to your songs that was made about you. And you was telling them to cut that shit off, but like. Do you listen to this song, about you? Yeah. You do? You listen to it like you be bumping it, or you listen to it just to see what they're saying? I listen to it just to see what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so when you hear it, is it every time they be like, is everything they say fact? Because you just kind of said the whole bus situation. That's not true. Is that like standard for diss tracks? Do y'all just be throwing shit in there just because it sound good? Or is it really like yeah. real shit? Yeah. Y'all do? What's something that you said about somebody that wasn't true? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is, this, I think... Just listen to my rap. Oh, my God. Just listen to my rap. As we talked about before, Get Home Hit One Mill. Um, and that was produced by Cash Cobain, and we just had him on here not too long ago, and he was saying not everybody could secure a Cash Cobain beat. So how did you go about getting that beat? Um, shout out my nigga Bandit, for me, my brother, for me. He was in the stool one time, he just told me pull up. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, I think he actually drove me there. He was like, yo, we about to pull up on Cash, because he know Cash, mm -hmm. for me. Not a lot of people know, but Bandit's really from Queens. So that song, um, I really fuck with it. That shit, like, it really seemed like it was very personal. And it was a different type of setting. Like, it was very vulnerable. And I feel like you really kind of laid a lot, a lot out on that track. So what was your thought process while you were making that song? Like, what inspired you to make that type of song? Family, friends, a lot of people depend on you. So I just... Got in that mold, like a lot of people can't do that. They just like this and like you said, but I just had to get on some different shit. Like. So how long? How long have you been working on that? Or how long were you working on that song before you dropped it? I just made it like when I, once I went to the studio. I made. Oh it. wow, for real. So can we expect more songs like that from you? Because I feel like I said already I fuck with it, but I feel like that's like the common consensus like the talk of the town is that that song is like really like lit people yeah. are really like tapped in of so course. we could expect more of that from you of course so in that in that song too you were talking about like depression and like just dealing with your feelings and like how people depend on you and stuff does that is that really like how it is in real life of course i'm do, just yeah talking for the streets for the people so do you for me. that's what i was about to say so do you feel like you struggle with depression at all or, like, you have in the past? Of course. Yeah? yeah? And do you feel like it's something that's, like, talked about or addressed a lot in this community? No. And why do you think that is? Because this generation of people, they got their minds all over the place. They just want to be this. They want to be that. Something that they not. Mm -hmm. But we know that you're not. So do you think that, like, it'll become something that's more talked about as it's, like, incorporated in music? Because I feel like... Sometimes when people hear somebody like you or like, you know, somebody else who's to openly talking about um, depression and just like mental health, especially like not only in the black community, but the young black community, it sets like, you know, it sets a standard for people to be more open about that. So do you think that you would be like, I don't want to say an advocate, but do you feel like there will become a time that you could be more open about it so that people could like feel um, more comfortable talking about it? I mean... Probably, but not right now, though. Not right now? Yeah, I don't think I'm ready to talk to nobody. Right and that's understandable. So how do you deal with, like, your depression or, like, your emotions? I just try to stay focused and stay in the stool. That's mainly that's what it? I do. That's it. 
How do you feel about therapy? It didn't work. It didn't work? So I ain't doing it no more. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm a therapy advocate, so we'll talk about that after, because I'm very curious to know why. Um, but I also notice a lot of people in this generation are, like, self-medicating when it comes to depression and stuff like that. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, I don't encourage nobody to do no drugs. So, mm -hmm. I say, like, I do them for, I do them, but, like, I don't say go do drugs. No, I'm not that type of person. So, do you think that that's something that's going to stop? Like, at what point do you feel like? I feel like when I get to where I got to be and I do what I have to do for everybody I got to do, I, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. So, you feel like it helps? Mm hmm Hmm. How impressionable do you think, like, stuff like that is on people who listen to the music? Like, do you feel like if artists are doing drugs and, like, showing that they're doing that type of stuff, that the people who are tapped into them will feel like they should do it too? I mean, yes and no. Like, you could, it's people, it's two people in this world. It's yes men and it's people that got their own mind. Mm -hmm. So you choose what you want to do. I mm -hmm. know people that I, I smoke, well, I mean, I do what I do here and there, and there's people that around me that don't smoke, don't do nothing, mm -hmm. don't drink, don't do nothing. They don't follow what yeah. I do. I agree. I don't think that music and artists are as impressionable as people try to make it seem. Like, I feel like if you're in control of what you're doing and your actions and you're not just trying to feed into the next best thing, you shouldn't want to do drugs because somebody else is doing it. You should have your own mind. So I definitely agree with that. Okay, so... In the same vein of that, do you feel like, I mean, you're young, you're, you're still, you know, coming up. Do you feel like, in a way, like you're living too fast? Nah. I had to man up when I was like 12 or 13. So I don't feel like I was going too fast. I just knew from a young that I had to. Mm -hmm. And you just adjusted to what it was. So... We also talked about earlier, don't give a fuck, which hit, you said 32 at this point. I'm sorry. You said 32. It's not only you busted out with the lyrics, it's the facial expressions that really just got me too. But you said you weren't expecting it to blow like that. So what were you expecting from me? Just I mean, like, me like to be honest, I was just. Kept, like I, I go through, I go through uh, requests on IG. Mm -hmm. People probably think I don't, but I do. I be seeing the fans. They, I read this stuff, you know. So like, <laughs> I read, I read the. You the, read comments. The good, the good stuff though, not all that other extra. But when I seen, I just kept seeing them like drop this, drop this, drop this. So I just dropped it for the fans, really. But you and Polly, y'all be making, y'all made a few songs together. That's my heart. Shout and out and they be bops. Yeah. So, of course. I, it lends itself to ask, like, if you had to choose somebody who's your favorite to make a collab with, who would you, who would you choose? Damn. Yo, that's crazy. I go lie. Shout out T5L, man. Huh. T5L. If you T5L, that's my favorite collabs right there. That's the best songs. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, are you signed? Yep. You said no? I said yep. Yeah? Who are you signed to? Sony. And how did that, how did that come about? Um, I was at K5 video shoot with G Herbo. Mm-hmm. And then A&R walked up to me. Shout out Molly. You feel me? We just started chopping it up. Mm -hmm. But I really... I really ain't talk to him. I let my manager talk to him. You know, I don't do the talking. Mm. <laughs> Back to that. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So, after that, like, what came from that? What, like, have you seen anything that, like, anything has changed since before you were signed? A lot. Like what? I mean, you just realize certain stuff, like, certain things. Okay. Yeah. You realize certain things. Certain things you could do with your life. Okay. You could put yourself in a better position. Nice, nice. Feel okay. Me? So, um, French Montana, um, he said something really interesting. He said that labels are starting to take out life insurance policies for rappers. Um, 
basically plotting on them, like not having long lives. How do you feel about that? That's that's crazy. Do you feel like? Do you understand why they would do that? I mean, I feel like they just signing young kids, thinking they'd be young and dumb. Mm-hmm. But it's already not like that. So. So, like when I heard that, to me, I felt like it kind of seems like they're feeding into what they perceive to be happening in the streets, right? So do you think that they're genuinely signing these artists? And I'm not even saying you specifically, but do you think that labels are genuinely, like, reaching out to these artists and signing them because they actually believe in, like, who they are and what they can bring to the table? Or do you think there's more to that? It really all depends, like. I don't know. I can't say too. I can't speak too much for every label. So I know my label treat me good. So okay. I'm not. Okay. Don't know shit. Don't know label. I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. With my own label, doing my own thing. I ain't mm-hmm. worried about everybody else. Okay. So what do you think ultimately is like the fate of drill? Because I know you say you want to see it become its own genre. So what I take from that is that you expect for it to last a long time. How do you feel? Like, do you think it's going to evolve more? Like, what do you think is in store for it in the long run? It's, it it might just evolve more. It might, you know, if we keep pushing. Mm-hmm. We keep trying new stuff. Okay. Everybody just doing the same thing, and it's looking like I'm the only one that can switch it up and do what I got to do. Okay. All right. So, I also see that you're managing a couple of artists. Yeah. Shout out my nigga Madi Too Hadi, man. Shout out Mally B, man. Oh, my God. Nobody bigger than them. How? how I might not even be bigger than them. Real shit. <laughs> okay. How did how did that happen? How did you start managing artists? I mean, I it's not, like, it's just, it's love. Like, not even no Oh, love. okay. I'm managing them, but it's love, though. Like, okay. Because that's just. love. I'm just. <laughs> okay. Because I feel like I keep cool, so I'm managing like, I'm a co-sign manager. A co-sign manager. Okay, because I see that a lot, and I never could understand, like, how an artist could be, like, coming up themselves and then still manage an artist to help them come up, too. It just never made sense in my mind. No I offense mean, to you. Not yet, but, I mean, it's possible, you feel me? Like, you're doing your thing. If you're working hard enough, you should be able to do, 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 get to where you got to go. Mm-hmm. And it's nothing to throw a light on. Let him get his own platform and do what he got to do. Now that's a now he got his own money. Now you don't got to film. Mm-hmm. So when do you know that you reached that part, that point though, when you could do that? Because I feel like you may be speaking for yourself, but I don't think that goes for everybody. So like, where do you think is a time for an artist, like an appropriate time for an artist to decide that they want to start managing other artists while they're still coming up? When they get their mind right, like. It's a lot of stuff you got to come with it. It's a lot of stuff hmm. that, you know, you just got to move around it. Okay. So, I also know that you have a son, right? Yeah. So, congratulations on that's, that. That's the tattoo. Everybody wondering. Oh, that's my tattoo. That's my tattoo right here. That's my son's name, Kenzo. That's why I got a Kenzo tag. That's why I got a Kenzo tiger. Oh, that's nice. So, how did you come up with that name? Me and my BM. I don't even want to talk about that, though, because me and her are not together. <laughs> okay. We're going to leave that. Where is that? So what legacy would you like to leave for your son? Like, when he looks back at you, like, years from now, what would you hope that he could take from your journey into, like, your car- your music career or your career in general? Everything. Like, dep- like everything, basically. He give me, he's my, that's my son. Like, he get everything. Like, mm-hmm. Everything. Like, now, would you be supportive if he, like, followed a similar lifestyle that you got? Or would you try to steer him in a different direction? Steer him in a different direction. He's not getting into it or not. You, you see, that last part, it wasn't needed. Because you could have just said, steer him in a different direction. I would have let you rock with it. So, um, okay, so, like, when thinking about collabs, do you have any, like, dream collabs, like, people that you would like to work with? It's a couple. Um, Big Dirty, I say, I want to work with Quando. Hmm. Really? <laughs> really? Quando, as in Quando Rondo. 
You don't feel You're like surprised? I am very surprised wow. because I feel like that comes with a lot. Like I think that how come? I mean, his he's not really that valid to a lot of people. I feel like that's automatically kind of associating yourself with, you know, the whole bond situation. Listen, man, I don't know. That don't got nothing to do with me. You see where I live. I live in New York. So do you think that it's possible for somebody to make a song with somebody's ops, but still make nah, a song nah, with they, like, nah. you don't think it's possible? It's not. So if you make a song with Kondo, you standing on that, and you wouldn't want to make a song with it. Okay. All right. I feel like you're picking up what I'm putting down. You're not really giving nah, me much, so I feel like. Nah, it's like, I'm telling you, like, it's, it's just, it all depends, like. It all depends on the artist and like who you are as a person. Like, if if like if I fuck with you, like if it's just business, it's business. Mm. But if if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. I'm gonna fuck with you. I'm not gonna fuck with your house. That's what niggas get it fucked up at. It's a it's business. This is business. Hmm. Okay. I'm kind of nervous to ask you this because I know how you get it, and so recently. You know, there was a video with B Love and Sha, and they linked up. And we already know, like, what was going on before that. So, in the same vein of what you was just saying, how did you, was that like a business thing? Was that, like, how would you categorize that? You know what I'm going to say, right? I'm not going to say too much. I'm not going to speak on that. Next topic. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I guess. All right. So, um, you said okay. You named the people you want to collab with. Any females? I got a couple collabs on the way. What ladies you like to work with? I got a, oh, I got a song. Oh, oh, what well, I would like I, to work with? Okay. Well, I know London. You work with yeah. you, London Hill. Shout out London. Yeah. Shout out London Hill. Who else? Who else? It's a couple that I'm looking at. It's like, <laughs> uh, oh man, this, oh. this is a big one right here, man. Alicia Keys, man. I ain't gonna lie, big one. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, 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 I'm aiming for the top. As you should, Alicia Keys. <laughs> that's a like, I, wow. I wasn't expecting for you to say that. So you, <laughs> okay. So you fucking with like the songs that Alicia Keys been putting out with the New York artists. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about like rappers? Anybody? Okay. Give me, give me three. Alicia Keys. Who else? You talk about like in general or just like, no. like mm -hmm. now nah, I'm talking about in general like New York or. No, nah, it could be in general. I say Cody Ray. Okay. Um, Love her. Who else? Who was a female rapper I listen to? Oh, Megan Thee Stallion. Mmm. Yes. Okay, hot girl Meg. Love that. <laughs> That's a very like. Very interesting list. I'm still surprised you said Alicia Keys. Shout out to Alicia Keys though, but that's nice. Okay, um, so like, what can we expect coming from you next? Like, what what you got coming out? I got a lot of my sleeve, a lot. A lot. Like, are we talking videos, projects, like what? I got a project on the way. Project on the way. When can we expect that? So that's what I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna say too much. <laughs> I gonna see the post though. That's gonna go in the caption. That in this interview, just don't say too much. But, <laughs> um, okay, so what about YouTube? Because I know we were just talking about um, Booba and Naughty, but, like, it seemed like you, like, that's something that might be able to work for you. You were on Twitch with Silky. That seemed, like, nice and cool. Like, I Sounds feel like silky. that's something that's, like, Thanks. you know, it could work it's, for you. Would you ever consider, like, Twitch or YouTube? I, I was thinking about doing a little streaming. Yeah? Yeah. Because I, I feel know. like a lot of y'all have personality. That's a fact. So maybe we could look out for that, too. <laughs> All right. So is there anything else before we wrap up that you would like to cover, talk about, set the record straight about? <sighs> they know who started that deep voice shit. That raspy voice, that bad man shit that y'all like to call it. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Okay, so shout out your um your socials and everything so that they can know where to find you. The only Shetty B, man. I know. It's the only one. 
Oh man, shout out all my supporters. Shout out T5L. Nobody bigger than us. All right, and thank you, <laughs> thank you, Sunny, for coming. Thank y'all for watching. We off. <laughs>